Greetings everybody. In this video we're going to discuss Iran and the current distress and, and war actions between Israel, Iran and America is not what many are calling World War III. So many in the news media recently have been saying almost daily now that <clears throat> the Israel's missiles landing on American air bases is the start of World War III. And <clears throat> that's not what it's all about. Years ago, the same news media was telling us that North Korea was about to start a nuclear war with America. At that time, I made a YouTube video that clearly showed God's rejection of that possibility. When God writes something in the Bible, he's going to make it happen the way he wrote it, because that proves the greatness and the hand of God. Jesus is showing us through Daniel that first comes a massive boots on the ground, World War III. Almost nobody is expecting this. There it is in the Bible. We'll see where it is in a little bit in the midst, in the Middle East. And then comes nuclear war after that. Everybody's expecting nuclear war, but it doesn't come until after a massive boots on the ground, World War III in the Middle East. So at that time, in that video, I pointed out that whatever happened with North Korea, they were saying, we're going to lob rockets against cities in, in America. And President Trump was saying, our button is bigger than your button and we'll utterly destroy North Korea. So I pointed out that whatever was going to happen, there would be no nuclear war with North Korea at that time based on God's description of the massive boots on the ground, World War III in the Middle East, saving Israel, and then later there would be nuclear war. That was years ago, and by the word of God, there was no nuclear war with North Korea. Those of us who have been watching the news know that the thing settled down, there have been no more uh, intercontinental ballistic missiles fire, there have been no more nuclear tests, there have been no more threats against American cities. Now, years later, <clears throat> the news media want us all to believe that President Trump has just started World War III with Iran. And a lot of people would go, yeah, that seems reasonable. Um, Iran, they've been making war and trouble for a long time, and they're friends with uh, Russia and China, and they've been doing uh, naval exercises with those two countries. So, so yeah, it could well be that World War III has just begun with Iran. No, it hasn't. <laughs> Nuclear war hasn't started with, war, with Iran. Now, <clears throat> how can we know this? That is, it is not about to happen. Jesus tells us what World War III will look like when we look in Daniel 11:40 through 43. Verse 40 says, at the time of the end, right? If you study much of what Daniel wrote, it was aimed at the end time or the last days before Jesus returns to the planet Earth. And it's giving much description of what will be happening in those days. So when we get to Daniel 11, verse 40, it says, now at the time of the end, we're going to discuss events in the time of the end period. 11.41 says, And he, a great military power, shall also enter the glorious land, Israel, and at the same time, many countries, i.e. enemies of Israel, many surrounding neighbors who want to destroy Israel, who want to push Israel into the sea, right, shall be overthrown. This is an unbelievable set of circumstances, but here it is, God foresaw this would happen. God has been guiding history and allowing this to develop. And this is how World War III is going to come about. Daniel eleven forty two, and he, the great military leader, king of the north, shall stretch out his hand against the many countries and the land of Egypt shall not escape. Verse 43, and he, this super powerful king of the north, think leader of the free world, shall have power over the treasures of gold and silver and all the precious things of Egypt and also the Libyans and Ethiopians. 
So here we have a difference of invasion than we've seen with Afghanistan, with Iraq, where we, we went in, we invaded, then we went to nation building. In this case, God describes it as with, that the invading nation will have power over the treasures of gold. They'll be able to use the money, the gold and the silver and the oil, no doubt and over all the precious things of Egypt. So here we see God has named three of the many countries that are going to be overthrown. Everybody knows where Egypt is. Everybody knows where Libya is. Everybody knows where Ethiopia is. But it's only three of the many nations to be overcome and overthrown. World War III is not yet with Iran because Egypt, Egypt is still friendly towards Israel. Expect Israel to have Egypt turn against them. They did in past, you know, in years past. Um, the, the, what, what's our conclusion? The current Iranian problem will hold on. It may simmer, it may die down, it may get a little worse for a time until many Middle Eastern nations are unified in an attempt to destroy Israel. Now, Iran wants to destroy Israel. That's plain and obvious. Egypt doesn't or it isn't at current making those overtures to do that. Saudi Arabia isn't. These are allies. And so until all of the Middle Eastern nations, neighbors, or most of them are unified in an attack against Israel, we're not going to have World War Three. We're not going to have nuclear war. Back in 1973, the Yom Kippur War was raging when Israel won a decisive victory over an 11 nation coalition. Those 11 nations were Morocco, Saudi Arabia, Cuba, North Korea, Tunisia, so Soviet Union, Algeria, and most well known are, of the combatants were Egypt, Iraq, Syria, and Jordan. And these all joined in to destroy Israel. But that was not World War III. And that was taken care of by the Israeli military with a little bit of help from America and, and maybe some others. So what should we expect to happen in the months ahead of us? If we believe and trust what God has showed us in Daniel, then we will be looking for many Middle Eastern Arab nations, enemies of Israel, to all be unified and to make a giant attack against Israel. Then we will see World War III occur.